So would you like to get started selling product into Shopify, but unsure about how to handle sales taxes? So don't worry, I got you covered in this tutorial with setting up sales taxes in your Shopify store. So let's dive into how we can get started in a very easy way. So the very first thing you want to do is to access your Shopify store. You want to make sure, of course, that you have an actual domain that of course is certified with the currency you're currently living in my case i have the my shopify.com so there might be no issue there so now in order to continue first of all i'm going to go and focus into my dashboard of shopify so just in case you don't have cleaned an actual store into shopify i'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so you can get started totally for free with a few days and after that i have an actual huge deal for the next three months now here, what I want to be doing here is that inside my dashboard, let's here focus into navigation into the left hard and go for settings. The middle located on the bottom left corner of this uh, screen. Now go to the taxic section. In the settings section, let's go and focus here into the left hard. Now you can see here just below shipping and delivery you have the taxes and the duties where you can manage your sale tax settings. So this is the part where you wanted to enable automatic tax calculation. Now as you can see here we are not charging taxes on some product variants. So that means that we need to make sure that all the taxable variants are set up to my charge taxes. So in order to get started, what I want to be doing here is to allow Shopify to calculate taxes based on the store location and the location of my customers. So there are a few tax calculation section toggle and to automatically calculate taxes. And there are a few applications that can be helping us to get started. For example, we have the Avalara tax compliance, we have the Berk tax compliance, there's a full unexpected fees with the upgrade of the advanced Shopify. So you wanted to make sure that you have an active event Shopify if you wanted to collect taxes at the checkout in a very easy way. If you don't here, then what we can do here into the global settings, let's go for include sales taxes and port product price and shipping rate, charge sales tax and shipping and charge BAT on digital goods. Now I'm going to go all my way up and focus into my setting up the tax rates. So scrolling down to the tax regions and rate section, here you can add tax rates for different regions where you can have nexus or are required to collect sales taxes. So let's assume for example that I go here and look out for Mexico, the country we are actually focused on. So as you can see, I'm gonna click in here. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that we have saved this first. And then once again, I'm gonna click once again into the country where I'm actually selling, currently selling and go for the edit the variants. So usually here it's gonna be sending me into the products where we don't actually charge taxes. You can enable all of them if you wanted to by just going here like this and automatically I'm gonna just move this all the way down. Or I can just uh, move my mouse like this usually what I did in order to check out taxes is to check out the actual taxes information about the country I wanted to get started in. So for example, if I'm focusing today into Mexico, I could see here that the value added tax is from 16% up to 20% for United States and Canadian imports. And for the rest of the world, the average rate is from 19 and 20. So with this information, I can use this information, of course, to add it directly into the value of each of every product that I do have directly into my store and you can go here once again focus into back and here I can start collecting the percentage that I have just make the research and so for example here I have the 19% I'm gonna hit now into save and there we go even what I can do is to set only the actual shipping zone in the regions I wanted to collect taxes and of course I can save those taxes and leave it as it is and here is my collected data report. So we have the filling of the return where we can show which uh, taxes are filled into the behalf of a marketplace channel like Facebook or Google. If we have any questions though, we can check this with a tax professional. But here, this is like the best uh, based idea of how you can get started with the taxes with the uh, tax platform, which in this case is going to be helping us for this paid service to calculate taxes on every order based on the most up to date tax roast. There's another way how we can do this without having to let's say focus into a new plan which is focusing into a third party application and for that let's focus here into applications and here I focus for taxes for example. Now it's going to be popping up this new section from the app store where we can choose which application we wanted to get started with the true profit, profit analytics 
and check out if this one is actually the platform you're actually looking for. But in this case, that's like a very easy way of how you can just enable taxes by just focusing into the settings and focusing into tax and duties and make sure you know exactly the right information about the country you are actually going to be retaining taxes and all of that. So guys, there you have it. You have successfully set up sales taxes in your Shopify store. Remember guys to regularly review and update your tax settings to ensure compliance with local tax laws and regulations. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, be sure to like, share and subscribe for, for more Shopify tips and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully we can all see you next time.